we talk about family, job, even exchange recipes. And while we converse, I can help Saida navigate our culture using her second language, perhaps at work or talking to her son's teacher or to a doctor. I see that when Saida feels successful, she is empowered to set higher goals for herself and to continue her language studies enthusiastically. I feel more confident um, speaking English with everybody. Uh, now in the pandemic, uh, she helped me with, um, with information about uh, food, rent, uh, assistance, because I'm a single mother and I lost my job, but now I'm better. You just heard from a tutor and student from Tutoring English to Advanced Change. Teach pairs uh, mentors with people learning English as a second language. Life during a pandemic is hard. Imagine how challenging it is if English is your second language. Joining us now is Constantine Bitsas, Executive Director of Teach. Good morning. Good morning. It's never, I never tire of hearing those great stories. It's wonderful to hear. I'm sure you have a lot of success <laughs> stories. Uh, this started in 1993, this program. 360 volunteers you meet in churches and libraries throughout the West suburbs. Tell us originally about the original mission in 1993. Oh, sure. I'd love to. Well, we were founded by the Sisters of St. Joseph. Uh, so consequently, while we do teach English, um, our mission is far greater than that. Really, our mission is to empower our students to address systemic inequities and also to serve those who are vulnerable and have multiple barriers. So really, we're more of a, I guess, a social service, I guess you would call us, because we serve people that um, are, for example, women with uh, who are uh, victims of domestic violence, immigrant women who are victims of domestic violence, but also the empowerment, helping people achieve meaningful goals to help them reach that American dream that they came here for is really the essence of our mission. You've helped uh, immigrants from 37 Seven, at least 37 countries. You know, uh, the pandemic, it's hard for those of us who English is the first language to adjust social distancing, mitigations, uh, the whole vaccine process. So your organization has had to adjust. We have, uh, yeah, I mean, we went virtual in, in March, I believe. Uh, and we, of course, as you, as you mentioned, we meet people in, you know, face to face in person. So we really had to completely adapt readjust to the new environment but um, we actually it's amazing how quickly you, you pick up technology I mean we're, we're now we're, we're experts in, in uh, uh, whatsapp zoom all those all those things but um, the important thing is we actually had to teach our tutors and our students how to use the technology as well and that was part of our our um, our work is to get them to the point where they can, we could actually communicate with them and continue uh, continue with our work. And this is a especially vulnerable population. You have perhaps uh, people, multiple generations living under one roof. A lot of these immigrants might be essential workers. Um, how has it been trying to help them adjust? You know, that's exactly right. The essential, you know, all of our, many of our students are essential workers and, uh, you know, they live in urban areas tech, uh, usually and so they're, you know, close together. As you said, social distancing is really difficult when you're on the front line doing customer service. So, uh, so that's one of the things that, um, that we've really been working on is helping them uh, with accurate information about COVID because when you don't speak English well, you don't always hear the, the correct information. You may hear it third hand or off of Facebook, which we know is not always accurate. So a lot of what we do is actually teaching them the real, you know, the, the accurate information. And also as part of our empowerment, we uh, help them um, access resources and um, learn how to advocate for themselves. That is probably the most, the number one most important thing for them to be doing right now is learning how to get what they need. Because resources right now, as you know, are very slim. People are out there, lines for food, uh, you know, utilities, those kinds of things. So our focus right now is to help empower people so they can get the resources they need, so they can get that level of security. Um, and then they can, you know, work on things like helping their kids with their schooling, those kinds of things. But advocating for yourself, empowering them to be able to get what they need, is critical at this point, yeah. and that's really what we focus on. Constantine uh, Bitsas, Executive Director of Teach, thank you so much for uh, sharing uh, details about your organization. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you. TEACH stands for Tutoring English to Advance Change. Potential students and tutors can find more information online at teachempowers.org.